Since Mojang split update 1.17 into two parts, I have been noticing a distinct lack of cliffs in the Caves and Cliffs update. Now listen, I know being a game developer is hard, so today I'm gonna go full send and add the cliffs myself. And while I consider myself a pretty good terraformer, we're gonna have to bring in some backup because there are some amazing builders on this server. Now in the last video, I did 24 hours of mining, so theoretically we should have plenty of blocks to get started. Well, I think we're good on stone, and also deep slate if I want to use any. I gotta say, I've also grown increasingly tired of having to walk everywhere, so we are gonna head to the shopping district and finally buy ourselves an elytra. Alright, I believe this is the place to be. <laughs> we got elytras on either side, so let's go buy one. Check that out! Look at all those diamonds we made in the last episode. Elytra, 30 diamonds. Fine, take my money, you extorter. I'm just kidding, I love you, DC. Whoops, he took my pickaxe. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There you go, you can have a lead, I don't care. Here we go, finally! Oh, it feels good. Feels. Good. Ah, oh, it feels good. It feels good to be able to fly. Well guys, we actually passed over this area right here, which is where we're going to be building some of our cliffs. And then maybe some more over on this other side of the path here, if Skills doesn't mind. But I think it's critical that we first clear out all the trees. Guys, I'm starting to realize how big of a project this is. <laughs> like, I haven't even cleared out half of this thing yet. But it's fine. I'm gonna do it. Hey, you guys want to see the most illegal thing I own? Check this out. I don't- <laughs> I honestly don't even know how this happened. There's two of them here. They're just on the dirt. I can't bring myself to get rid of those, so we're just gonna have to leave them. Well, guys, we've been able to pretty much clear out this entire area. If I take off here, you can see how much we've done. Just check that out. That whole area is clear. But I think I'm gonna make the peak of the whole cliff kind of pinnacle right there. And then we're gonna have something on top of that. I don't know what. I think what I'm gonna do is actually lay out where I want the edges of the cliff to be. And we'll just start building it up from there. Look at me go, I'm a pro. Look at this, look at this. I'm such a professional. The only thing I think I'm gonna change up from what I just placed down is actually this cliff right here. This, I want to be like a really sheer cliff. So it's gonna be like going almost straight up, maybe even inverted in some spots, so it looks like a better cliff. Very threatening if you get my vibe. But listen, before we start building, I'm gonna go max out my armor and get some actual diamond armor because this is pathetic. And I take like half my health every time I try to land with this stupid elytra. I really should have thought that one through. But you know what? That is okay. So let's take some of these and we'll make some diamond armor. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why I crafted that when I have an elytra. It's fine. Don't worry, I'm a rich man. Oops, and did I say diamond? I think we've got far too much netherite to make diamond armor. Oh baby, I'm gonna cook up an entire stack of ancient debris. Can't believe I don't even have a smithing table, but there we go. Well, if you guys didn't know, actually, netherite gear gets better enchantments. So that's the benefit of me doing this first, is that when we actually put it in an enchantment table, we'll probably get better enchantments. Probably? But even if we don't, there's a thing called a grindstone. Away we go. Now listen guys, I've got a question for you today. I want you guys to put your answers down in the comments, but I was just thinking about this. If I was a game developer at Mojang, what would my easter egg be? Cause you know, like Notch had the Notch Apple, Jeb has the Jeb Sheep, what would Civ's thing be? Just put your ideas down there in the comments and I'll pin my favorite one. All right, well, let's give this a shot, guys. All I see is Unbreaking 3, but that can't be too bad. Unbreaking 3, Protection 3, that's not bad, but it's also garbage. Goodbye. Round number two, I don't want Blast Protection. All I want is Protection 4, okay? Here we go. I see that there, Aqua Affinity, that's gotta be better. Yes, Protection 4, Aqua Affinity. I mean, it doesn't have Unbreaking, but we can handle that. Okay, how about the pants? The pants have gotta be the easiest one. Unbreaking 3, that's it, garbage. Got him breaking for our helmet as well. Now listen, I've never been one for making max stuff, okay? So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and chuck mending on here because I'm very scared that if I forget to do it and I don't actually put mending on it, then it's just gonna break and I'll completely ruin my day. Now I have to draw the line somewhere though because these don't actually have protection four on them. So I'm not gonna put mending on those yet. They don't have feather falling or depth strider either. So we're gonna wait on those. And don't let me forget guys, don't let me forget. We're also gonna use the loads and netherite we got to just go ahead and chuck it on a couple things such as the ax and these two max pick axes. This legend my friend Skills told me I can take some golden carrots because he's the best. And also I'm starving constantly. I'm living off rotten flesh. My life is a lie. All right guys, I think we're gonna start right here on this cliff face right here. So let's get to work.
Now it's time for a lesson in terraforming with Civ. Basically guys, whenever I start doing terraforming, I just kind of lay things out. I literally just like spam click. And I know that doesn't sound very professional, but that's honestly the way I do it. And I think about the way I want it to curve and things like that. So like with that over there, I was thinking I wanted it to kind of invert. And so we end up kind of getting these like curving out kind of things. It looks great. Plus we don't have the same landscape all the way around. So like over here, it was going down into the water. So this can be straight up stone. But like over here, you kind of need to make it fade a little more into the ground. And so like this area right over here, I'm doing out of pure dirt and then eventually we'll transition it into stone that goes up to the spire. Why hello my friend. Welcome. What you got? What you got? You got Dylan, Mayu, Beppo, and we got all these blocks. I don't I don't really have any emeralds, so you have a nice life. It was short, albeit. How's it going, fellas? I'm just gonna just kinda give you a big knock here and uh, have a nice day. Holy cow, guys, <laughs> this place is a complete mob trap. <laughs> Whew, guys, it is finally finished. Check this thing out. <laughs> Look at that. It's just huge. Okay, I spent so many blocks on this. And I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look like incredible at the moment, but that's kind of the point. I was just trying to get all the blocks down first and then we'll go back and make everything pretty. But I gotta say, these cliffs right here look the best. Plus, once we get more cliffs in here on the other side of that pathway over there by Skills Place and also out here in the water, everything is gonna look awesome. One thing that I've noticed is it's very annoying to only have fortune pickaxes, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a silk touch one. Right after that, I met up with my neighbor Skills, and after talking for a bit, we decided that essentially I'm going to take care of this side of his pathway. Anything on the right side of that, however, is going to be up to him, unless of course he wants some help and I'm always happy to help. Plus, Skills is a great builder, so he gave me some tips on how to improve the cliffs. One of the biggest things he said was to add more grass to it. And just that simple thing made a huge difference. Oh my gosh, yes, that looks so much better. Skills, you're a brilliant man. We'll only have the pigs be actual stone because this just looks so much better. The grass, oh my gosh. Well guys, while me and Skills are working on this over here, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some of these stone things out in the water here. Maybe some arches, some cool little crevices, I don't know, but I know it's gonna look good. Okay, well I just finished the first one and I wanna see what it looks like. So let's see it together. So we go out here and let's see. Okay, that actually looks really good. We just need a bunch more of them. Back fiends. At this point I was kinda stuck. So I called over my friend Branzi who's done a lot of terraforming in the past and he gave me some tips. Um, and I wanted to get some advice on a build I'm doing. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Holy cow. You built this? Yeah, it's it's a little bit hollow, so uh, go in at your own risk. If you add even a little bit more texture to that area, it's going to look really cool. So right. what I'd use is I kind of make a gradient, right? I don't have I don't have great blocks on me to demonstrate this. Here, I've got three different kinds. Perfect. Okay, so water is leaf, right? Now, when water rushes to the to the stone, it turns it, it like kind of jaggedy, like cobblestone. Yeah, there is cobblestone. Okay, gotcha. uh, and then when uh, it it kind of splashes up a little bit higher, it makes it andesite. And then when it get a little bit higher, uh, the water can't reach it anymore, and then you get stone. I might have stumbled on a beautiful creation. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's how you do it, boy, right there. Branzi was a huge help here, and we ended up actually adding a waterfall and trees and all this kind of foliage everywhere. It made the place look amazing and luscious. Also, let's make this man professional. Branzi to 100k, give me a hashtag in the comments. Guys, I am so pumped about how this place has turned out. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah, see, he's keen. Got moss sprinkled in here. The whole place is just gorgeous. 
and I gotta say, this is the most fun thing to fly through. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is actually, I was gonna add more of these rock things, and I'm gonna wait to do those until we actually have a boat in place, because I don't know how large it's actually gonna end up being. And the current plan is actually to make more of these cliffs around, of course, and I think skills is gonna help me a bit with that. And an idea that skills had was that we make, like, a crevice inside this mountain that has, like, a bunch of treasure in it, and that'll go perfectly with the massive pirate ship that I'm gonna build. So for those of you who don't know, that's gonna be my mega base, and it's gonna be right over there. So now that I've done Mojang's job for him, the only next thing to do is build the boat. So I will catch you in the next one.